Hello students! Welcome to the second lesson for statistics and probability. This part of this course is related to the topic or tutorial that I uploaded in my YouTube channel. This tutorial also will give you application in real life situation. But before that, kung maguhan ka pa lang sa YouTube channel ko, huwag kalimutan i-like, i-press ang subscription, Click also the notification bell para palagi kayong updated sa mga latest videos, sa mga latest videos na tutorial. So, let's go! Okay, so congratulations nga pala yung nakakuha ng perfect score sa nag-comment sa ating first na tutorial. At dahil dito, may tatlo po tayong nananalo. Sila po ay nakakuha ng perfect score. Then, dahil nakakuha kayo ng perfect score, magbibigay ako ng free free loads para sa inyo po. So, magkaroon kayo ng free loads. So, okay. Yung first na kuha ng perfect score ay si Tang Deren Chris J. Dibug We have also Mary Rose Flores and the last one is Gerald Ijaman Okay, so congratulations again Okay, so our second topic, or second tutorial that I'm going to discuss today is about the probability distribution for a discrete random variables. When we talk about the probability distribution of a discrete random variable, this defines the probability of its possible value of the random variable. Okay, so its distribution functions are concentrated as a mass for a particular value and also known as the probability mass function. Huwag kayong malitop about the probability mass function and also the probability distribution. Pareha lang yun. Okay. So, another thing, in the probability of discrete variable, we have two properties. The first property is the probability of its value of the random variable must be between or equal to 0 and 1. As you can observe the symbol, we have a symbol of P of X between 0 and 1. Okay. For the next property is the sum of all the probabilities of all values of the random variable must be equal to 1. In symbol, we write it as P of X equals 1. Meaning to say, lahat ng probabilities if you're going to add all the probabilities, magkakaroon tayo ng 1. Okay. So, we have here the example number 1. So, example number 1, let X be the number of tails when a coin is flipped twice. When flipping a coin, in coin, coin twice, we have 4 possible outcomes. Meaning, 4 events. As you can observe, we assign value of x as our number of tails or coin. Okay, so we have here the values of x. We have 0, 1, 1, 2. Okay, after that, okay, we already design or make a tabular inform about the event and possible outcomes we will make a probability distribution or the mass function just like this okay as you can observe the value of x we have 0 1 and 2 okay these are the values of our x as a number of tails so 0 1 and 2 these are also the example of the random variables okay so our probability we have p of x as you can observe we have one fourth bakit one fourth titingnan mo dyan ang zero ay kaisa lang siya nagpakita only one so the number of event is four or the number of possible outcomes is four so nagiging one over four how about Random variable 1. So, 1 dyan is, magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang 1. So, we have 2 over 4. 
or reduced to the lowest terms that is one half and the number two isa lang ang two natin dyan, that is one over four okay yon ang example on how are we going to make a probability distribution or mass function after that we will present this using graphical presentation in discrete random variable the graphical presentation is called histogram just like this okay histogram now this is the best representation for the discrete random variable as you can observe for the x-axis we have 0 1 2 0 1 and 2 these are the values of x this is our random variable for the x uh, for the y-axis rather as you can observe the y-axis we have the p of x that is one fourth one half and one fourth and one half rather so <clears throat> make this p of x as decimal in form because our table jan is fractional in form but in the graphical presentation you should have a transform fraction to decimal para makita mo yung graphical presentation this is the picture of the histogram based on our example number one okay next another example for number two tapos natin na discuss for the first tutorial about assigning the defective items there are three uh, items that we're going to choose randomly so, lang, eight possible outcomes as you can observe for the table natin dyan, we have already the uh, tabular in form and nagkakaroon po tayo ng assigning of y as the number of defective items so our y here is 3 2 2 1, 0, 1, 1, and the last one is 2. Okay, so after that, we will make a probability distribution or the mass function. Just like this. So that the example of the mass function in tabular form. We have the value of y, we have the random variables, 0, 1, 2, 3. Our P of Y, we have 1 over 8, 3 over 8, we have 3 over 8, and 1 over 8. Bakit may 8? The number of 8 dyan as our denominator is the number or the possible outcomes of our experiment. Okay, so after making a probability distribution, let's proceed to representation using graphical presentation. Okay. Using graphical presentation, magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, histogram. So, this is now the re representation of histogram. As you can observe, titignan natin dyan, we have our x-axis, the value of y, we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. And our P of Y, nasa X at Y axis, we have also the 1 over 8, or that is 0 0.125. Our 3 over 8, that is 0 0.375. And also 1 over 8 is 1, 0 0.125. Titignan nyo sa Y axis, ang interval dyan is 0. From 0, we have 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Depende kung ilan yung interval mo in every uh, ano, interval sa y-axis. Okay, so the gram is best um, example to represent discrete random variable. Okay, so thank you and I hope you learned a lot from this tutorial about probability distribution. Okay, God bless! And bye.